Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'll show you how to make these crochet woven dishcloths. They are a cute decorative addition to a kitchen that also serves a practical purpose. To do this, I'm using about 50 yards of worsted weight cotton yarn and both a size G and H crochet hook. To begin, I'm using the larger H 5 millimeter crochet hook to make the starting chain of 23. This helps keep the starting edge a little stretchy for when we put the pieces together. After the 23 chains, I move over to the smaller G 4 millimeter crochet hook, which I'll use for the remainder of this green section. I'll skip the first chain and make one single crochet in each chain across. Throughout this pattern, we'll be using the back loops only, so use the back loops of the starting chain as well. You can see what my row one looks like thus far. It's basically a row of 22 single crochet stitches. Going forward for rows two, three, four, five, and six, we'll do this. We'll chain one and then turn our work. And using the back loops only throughout, we'll make one single crochet in each stitch across. It's important to use the back loop so you get that textured look in the end for each of the sections. You can see how I'm moving on to row three. I chain one, turn my work, then make 22 single crochet stitches on this row as well, using the back loops only throughout. What I'm working on is the green section of the dishcloth, as you can see. You will use the same process to make the other three sections of the dishcloth as well. In my case, I'll also end up making a blue, orange, and pink section using this very same pattern and procedure. After you complete the six rows of single crochet stitches, you'll bring the two smaller ends together and connect them. How you connect them is up to you. You will not see this seam line in the final dishcloth, so it doesn't need to be connected perfectly. You can sew the two edges together if you wish. I'm just going to slip stitch the two edges together since I already have the green yarn on my hook and slip stitches connect things together nicely. I've made my second dishcloth section, which is blue. To connect it, I'm going to wrap it around my green section. So I push one end of the blue piece through the center of the green section. Then I find the two short ends of the blue piece and we'll connect them at this time. As before, this seam won't be visible in the final dishcloth, so you can either slip stitch or sew it with a yarn needle. As always, you'll want to properly fasten off the yarn and weave in the ends along the underside of the work so it stays secure yet you can't see anything. You can see the different angles of the dishcloth thus far and how the green section and blue section connect together at this time. We're going to introduce the next section of the dishcloth, which is pink, and we place it over the blue section. So one part of the pink piece will go through part of the blue section. This pink section will only touch the sides of the green section, but it won't interlock in any way with the green piece. We'll connect the two shorter ends of the pink section at this time. And finally, the orange section. We'll place the orange section over the front of the pink section. You can see the orange section over the pink section, just like we normally work with the pieces. However, this time we need to weave the orange section into the green section as well. We'll turn over our dishcloth to see the green section. And then the one part of our orange section will go through the green piece. And the top part of our orange section will go over the top part of the green piece. We'll find the two shorter ends of the orange section and connect them together. You can then push the orange piece a bit to hide the seam area. By the way, this is much easier when you are working with the pieces yourself. Very often just looking at the opening photo of the dishcloth makes it pretty easy to figure out where to place each piece. And that's it. That's how I make a crochet woven dishcloth.